Hey gang, it's Rob and I want to welcome you to the first episode and the first lecture in our web series and course. So this course is going to be for people who want a strong foundation in IT, so the fundamentals of IT. So if you've been preparing for A+, and feel like maybe A plus is a little bit too much for you and you want a precursor or a prerequisite to A plus, or if you just want to get a little bit better or feel a little bit more comfortable with IT in general, this is the video series and course for you. So to knock stuff out really fast, I'm just going to make sure that you guys know that this first lecture, right? Don't get scared, don't get uh, nervous, don't act weird. Just because it's some numbers doesn't mean that it's gonna be difficult, right? So we're gonna break down the way that computers speak, the way that computers talk to each other on the network, just to give you a good representation and a good introduction to how things work. Ready to get into it? Let's get into it. So, notional systems, right? First thing we want to talk about is binary. So binary is the language that computers speak in. Not English, not French, not Spanish, but binary. So that is the way that computers talk to each other. That's how they compute things. That's how they figure things out. So binary is a system of ones and zeros, or ons and offs. So one will represent on, while zero will represent off. Real simple, if you didn't know before, Binary is the language of computers. That simple. Let that sear in your brain if you didn't know. What's a binary? If you want to look cool to somebody, tell somebody, hey, did you know that computers, I don't know if they'll think you're cool if you, anyway, so <laughs> uh, binary is uh, the system that devices and PCs use to talk to each other, ones and zeros. That is the language of computers. Sound good? Next up. So hexadecimal is an easier representation because it's less characters and less binary values than binary. If you write out something in binary, it's gonna be a lot longer than if you've written it in hexadecimal. Right there is an example of hexadecimal and an example of something that uses hexadecimal would be your MAC address, M-A-C, your MAC address. So your MAC address is your physical address. Let's go back. Binary is the language that computers use, right? And then the MAC address, which is represented in hexadecimal, is gonna be the physical address of that computer or that device. Every device has a MAC address, and devices use binary to communicate to each other. Sound good? Last but not least is the decimal format. So a good example of decimal would be your IP address. Anything that connects to a network or anything that connects to the internet needs an IP address. Binary is the language that computers use. Hexadecimal, an example of that, is your MAC address, which is your physical address. Your IP address is your address on the network. So if you're on ESPN.com, if you're on ITMasterKey.com, if you're on Google.com, that network, those devices know where to send the information that you're looking for, okay? So binary is what? Very good. What is a example of a hexadecimal address? Very good. What is an example of a decimal address? Very good. And just in case y'all wasn't saying that while I was asking, binary is the language that computers talk in. Your MAC address is an example of a hexadecimal address, and that's a physical address. Then in decimal format is an IP address. All right, so that IP address is a version four IP address which is represented in decimal, while a version six IP address is gonna be presented in hexadecimal. You don't need to know that per se, but that's just a little bit more info for you. All right, so before you watch this lecture, you probably didn't know any of these things. Now you do, pat yourself on the back, you should be proud.